Hey there. Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Joined by my fellow attorney, Sonam Obsession. Hello. And <laughs> that was my, that was, that's, wow, yeah. that's how an attorney sounds. That was my attorney voice. Very good. Hello, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, Objection. Just, just cost me. No. Oh. <laughs> that's a judge. Sustained. Okay. No. Overruled, sir. <laughs> All right. You got it. No one knows the law like you, Sona. <laughs> of course, Matt uh, Gorley. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh oh, I object. I object. I'm a caricature. <laughs> Now, I don't know much about such city things, but I know an honest man when I see one. Well, it's clear, Sonia, you don't know what a lawyer is. And, I, don't, uh, I don't. Yeah. Um, and you, your only exposure is through cartoons, I guess. <laughs> That's most things. Yeah, yeah, maybe one children's production of 12 Angry Men. <laughs> but who am I to talk? I've lived off of caricatures for many years. you be a good lawyer? Do I? Yeah. I, this is a true story. I had an uncle um, who always wanted me to be a lawyer because he was a lawyer mm. and he was always saying, you'd be a great lawyer and you should and your do- your mom's a lawyer. And my mom's a lawyer. And so he was saying, you should be a lawyer all the time. And he was pushing me. And then I graduate college. I start becoming a comedy writer. I'm actually starting to have success at it. And he would still say, you should be a lawyer. <laughs> And I would think, huh, I'm actually, this is doing okay. Then I'm working on Saturday Night Live. Then I'm getting on camera a little bit. And he's still saying you should be a lawyer. And then I'm on The Simpsons. And I would see him and he'd still bring it up. Then I get the late night show. And I swear to God, he called the head, cause, because he had, uh, they, he had gone to the same college as the head of NBC. Oh. So he suddenly didn't know him. And they were years apart, but he suddenly got his number and he called him and he said, what is all this about Conan doing this late night show? That guy should be a lawyer. Oh my God, no, he <laughs> yeah, did it. He did. No, he did. He and didn't. so I get a call from Bob Wright, who's like, you know, runs NBC for General Electric. And, oh he, and he was laughing. He was like, this guy just got on the phone and yelled at me and said, Conan should be a lawyer. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you should have told him he should have been a comedian. Yeah, you should have a late night show. But uh, but his argument was, you know, you, if you're a lawyer, you have, you get to be your own director and your own actor and your, your own script. And I was like, no, 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 I, it, trust me, very few people have late night shows. <laughs> Did he thing. ever come around? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was always a mystery to him. And to, and to be fair, um, you know, I just came from people that knew nothing about show business and didn't care about show business. So I think uh, it was it was just felt like, what the hell is he doing? Wow, what is this nonsense? Knock it off. Go to BC Law and be a lawyer. And uh, <laughs> and and you know, I'm sure there are some people out there that would say that would have been a better use of my time. But. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, that was interesting. I Did you ever right. want to be a lawyer? No. No. I always thought I... <laughs> I just, I'm what sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> I would have done a really great job no, at being a you'd lawyer. Have to, you'd have to, uh, no, you what? couldn't do Why that. Why do you think you She's could be a, a lawyer and I champion. couldn't be? I, yeah, I, I didn't could've... say I could be a lawyer. I said that someone else wanted me to be a lawyer. You should not be a lawyer. I could be a lawyer. You wouldn't show up, but the, the, your client would be sitting there. Yes, how, how fiercely have I fought uh, traffic tickets? Oh, sure. That's it, just a small, small glimpse. I'll give her that. She's amazing. And she used to miss whole days at work <laughs> because she was in traffic court. And she would admit up front, oh, yeah, no. I was doing 95 miles an hour yeah. in a children's parking lot in an elementary school. <laughs> and they caught children's me. Children's parking lot. You know, elementary like a school parking lot. Oh. And whatever. And, and then, and then uh, you'd, be, you'd go there and you'd say all this bullshit to the judge and you'd get off. I would win. Yes. That's what we need. We need the W's. And I would bring the W's. The I'd wins. Be, yeah, the wins. The wins. I'd be one of those billboard lawyers and everybody would... Like um, Sweet James. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Jacob yeah. and Rami. But here's the problem. Um, I think you're very motivated when you've someone's done you wrong. The man has given you a ticket. Yeah. Then that gets your Armenian blood boiling. Okay? That's a guy true? Armenian. Well, yeah. Because you are Armenian. Yeah, this is true. Okay, let's not get take that too far. Me, Armenian. <laughs> Don't label me. Um, but it, it does. I've seen you when you see red, you go into this this special mode. Yeah. Where you have superpowers. I'm talking about you represent someone else. Yeah. And you're supposed to be there at eight o'clock in the morning and have done all the preparation. But somebody took some gummies. 
and somebody kept the judge waiting. I And someone, disagree. when the judge said, Ms. Movsessian, you're like, get off my ass, judge, and shove that gavel where the sun don't shine. <laughs> How's your Armenian blood doing now? It's really boiling right now. I think I would crush it out. You, you, you haven't seen me on jury duty. Do you know how good Wait, I am that's at jury a totally duty? Different that's thing. totally Shut different. Up, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I object. I You're object. out of order. I object. You're out of I order. Contempt of court. It. Ms. Movsessian, stop telling people to shut up in the courtroom. I had notes. <laughs> I had mental notes for the people uh, who were the two lawyers. I was like, I could do what they're doing. Are I you know, kidding? No, but then you'd have to go do it. And all I'm saying is that you're a free spirit. And once there's a task given to you, there's part of you that rebels. You're and that's angry. why you work with me. I'm just trying to think right now, if I was in serious legal trouble, which of you two assholes I'd want to represent me? Obviously. Uh, well, I'm him? taking taking his fame Eduardo's out of it. pointing Eduardo. to me. Oh, first of all, no, don't take my fame out of it. I want to be able to stand up and go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll be representing uh, the defense. Ooh. Of course, you all know me uh, from my uh, 30 years experience. <laughs> you should be a lawyer. I thought you said you're not famous in this scenario. No, I said I, I insist on being oh, famous. Oh, no, no, no. no. You got to do it be, not for, Before we uh, examine the evidence, let's look at my 10th anniversary special. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to change jury. I'd like to do a plea deal. Jury, yay, this stuff holds up. Yay. (laughs) The judge, I find you guilty of being hilarious. (laughs) I changed my answer. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I will fight uh, for you. Yes. Uh 